back in the uh, in the woodland that we came in a couple of weeks ago, well, four weeks ago now, to check on these pied and red start boxes. Um, my hip, unfortunately, has got a bit worse. So the great team from Sorby Breck have come out with me and they're doing most of the legwork. I'm just staying on the periphery and guiding them towards the boxes. Here we are on a beautiful early June morning in a beautiful wood in Derbyshire. What we're here to do is to check nest boxes and to record either eggs or chicks and if we have big enough chicks uh, to ring them. People often ask why do you ring the small birds in the nest? These numbers and this uh, data is very important for the British Trust for Ornithology to give them baseline information on the breeding success uh, of common birds and in this area more unusual species like red starts and particularly pied flycatchers. They use this information as they use it as known age birds which obviously you can't get with a lot of the smaller passerines where you can only age them up until two years old. So collection of nest record data is extremely important for population dynamic studies. So, the rest of the group have come back now. Well, and I decided to stay up here, just enjoy the scenery. And just over this wall behind me, a cuckoo landed about five minutes ago. And I could just make it out with this tiny little gap in the trees. And I managed to get a couple of photographs of its sort of head area, which are really nice. But we're just gonna sit here, make as little noise as possible, and hopefully it'll come back. So this is the third and probably final visit to Lady Bailwood. I think we've got five or four pied flycatchers, one possible um, red start. Uh, God, the midges are out already. It's 10 to seven in the morning. Um, I'm just waiting for Peter. Now he's coming to help me again. Got chicks? Yeah, yeah. About six or seven. Very good. Seventy-three. Does that make sense? What? Yeah, got? that's right. Seventy-three. Peter's gone now, uh, we've finished the boxes. I'm just hanging around uh, trying to get some photographs and some video of the pieds. I've come about 15, 20 metres away from one of the boxes. Um, parents are going in and out, feeding the chicks. There's not a lot of daylight around. It's a bit dark in here, so shutter speeds bit slow, ISO's pushed right up, yeah, but you should get something.
cannot describe the last two and a half hours. A pair of flights. <laughs> pair of. <laughs> it's so hard to say. Why is it so hard to say? Why is a pair of flight pipe. I can't even say it now. <sighs> a pair of pied flight catchers have basically, I know it sounds stupid, but have welcomed me into their world for two and a half hours. They've been flitting around me. Um, feeding, picking caterpillars up from two feet away from me. So close at one point, I think I needed a macro lens to take photographs. <laughs> God, this is, this is one of them experiences I will never, ever, ever forget. Absolutely incredible. When wildlife just kind of ignores you, doesn't even know you're there. And pied flycatchers as well, one of my favorite birds. So I finally made it to the top again. It is one hell of a walk up here. Um, hips held out, which is good. It's a bit sore, but it's managed it. Lynn's not with me today, unfortunately. She's on a hen weekend, and she would have absolutely have loved those pipe fly catches. What a shame she's not here. meadow pipit it's feeding on the insects that are feeding on the dung that comes from the sheep and this of course is the main target for the cuckoo <laughs> what an amazing day thing with wildlife never fails to amaze me always something every time you go out there's always something new something you see something exciting today's just been phenomenal so it's 10 to 1 I'm gonna pack up my stuff um, have a slow wander back down the hill back to the car uh, and go home to meet Lynn Oh dear, so a subscription to the channel would be absolutely lovely, bing the little bell if you want updates and thank you for watching, ta-ta for now, still can't go over today, it's been superb.